Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product. Uh, this is a small module, it's a logical convert module. So where we use it, this video I will show you because I want to use this module and work with this uh, switch LD feedback. And you can see I have used this one switch and this externally and in this case it's 68 server Raspberry Pi controller. Uh, this controller is output by MOSFET and this externally so in this video i will show you a solution that add this small module so that you can see i can control this relay and the feedback with this LED in the kit you can see the blue LED and this red LED because i have connected this feedback line from this uh, this first relay i have connected with this server you can see click on off on off so that the LD will be feedback and also you can see this is A16 uh, ESP32 board and also output to country and relay so this solution use this small module you can connect with this 12 volt output for LD feedback the state uh, just use for the MOSFET many component ESP32 board used by the MOSFET output so you can just connect this line and get this 12 volt output and to this LD state because if you don't use this one without this one the LD state will be exchanged uh, so that will be have wrong because when it relay is on the LD is off when the relay is off the LD will be on so that will be a wrong state so to, uh, we have to solve this problem so we have designed this small module and it's also very easy to use uh, you can see my computer uh, the size just uh, very small just this small size and you can see that have a 12 volt input and output so this side is input in you can see this is in and this side that is output you can see the output so you just connect this one you can see the 12 volt in the 12 volt in at here and the 12 watt output to your switch and this ground the ground is seen just the ground and this you can see the x1 and the y1 that means the first LD input and the first LD output and the second LD input and the second LD output and the sixth LD input and the sixth LD output so this will be very easy and also you can see uh, you can easy to install on this shoe or you can see install on this shoe so you can see uh, this enough you can see put it here enough space and this also have enough space so you just connect with your wire you can see actually you can see uh, this is k1 this is, i have connected k1 and the kcom the k1 just uh, from this digital input from controller digital input and this black that is kcom that means the ground so this have the connect with the ground and also you can connect with this black uh, because this all is grounded that is connected together inside and this is the LD feedback because you can see that DCOM this DCOM the red red cable is from this 12 volt this 12 volt so if you want this LD on so we need to give this zero volt just ground will be on and the 12 volt will be off so this d1 i use this blue line and get the voltage from this mosfet output just this one uh, when this cable have zero volt so that the ld will be on and this cable have 12 volt the ld will be off so this is the principle you can see so i just use this small module you can see uh, this is input this input uh, this cable input from this one power input and this you can see this one the break break also is from this this ground from this ground and uh, the blue one and you can see the blue one that means x1 the first LD the blue one and connect with it so this all is input at here you can see the input at here the through line 
And if you have the second LED feedback, just connect this one. If you have third LED, this one, fourth, this one. So this is output, you can see. Uh, this output one also is very easy. So you can see the, this 12 volt output, just the red one. And I have connect with this DCOM. The DCOM, not ground, it's power 12 volt. This is DCOM. And this black output just is ground. Uh, this one is ground, you can see. I have connected with this key count, just ground. And this one, this output, you can see the blue one input and the blue one output is connected with this D1 to LD. So the left is input, the right is output. Just uh, several connect with this small module. You can see, uh, just as this one, so it's very easy. And also you can see, I can easily put this module uh, to this one. You can see, put to this one. And then you can just uh, install your switch panel at here. So that you can let your energy feedback work well. And also you can see, I can install this module and to this one. Also is no problem. You can see, there's enough space uh, for you to use. Okay, this is how to use this one, this small module. If I remove this small module, I will show you uh, what the LD state will be changed. And we can power off, and you can see, if I remove this one, I just connect this cable without this small module and connect with switch directly. And this module, you can see, also is removable. So it's easy to uh, connect with the one, you can see, also is removable. And this time we will connect it directly. This blue one, that is D1, and this is the ground and the power. Okay, now I will connect with this one, this D1. This blue one to this D1. You can see uh, this is D1. And this D count, I will connect 12 volt. Just this one, red one. Okay, and the next is this one, ground. This is ground. I will connect with this key count. Okay, now you can see, I have connect with all one from this controller directly. And without this small module, let's power on and look at the state. Now you can see I power on, and this controller is reboot. And this time, you can see the LD is on, but this relay is off. You can see the relay is on, LD is on, but this LD is off. So you can see the state is opposite. You can see when on, this LD is off, when this off, this is on. So this has exchanged the state. So if without this uh, logical convert board, so you can see the state is opposite. So this video, so I will introduce you use this logical small module and to convert the state for the feedback from the relay controller. Okay, thanks for watching.